That's right, if you clicked on this video, you should already be aware of this video. Today is all about guitar picks, specifically choosing the right guitar pick for beginners. I have been asked by beginning guitar players and parents of beginning guitar players for years now, what is the best guitar, what kind of pick does my, you know, what kind of pick do I need? What kind of pick does my child need? Uh, and before we go any further in this video, let me be very clear in stating that there is no wrong answer here. The answer, the correct answer, is the one that feels best to you. For years, back in my store days, I almost always recommended and sold this particular variety pack of picks from Dunlop because it gave the user an opportunity to try a lot of different shapes and sizes and materials and thicknesses and stuff uh, and help them to decide which one, again, was the right fit. And truth be told, that is still the correct answer today. But I wanted to go into a little bit more detail than I usually had the opportunity to go into with those particular customers and talk about all the different nuances of all these different guitar picks out there because, quite frankly, the selection is about as, is about as big as there are guitars these days. Most of the picks that I'll be talking about here today are, are Dunlop picks. Dunlop, of course, are the largest guitar pick company. Uh, the vast majority of guitar players use a Dunlop pick of some kind. That's just, that's just what they do, and they've made a great reputation for it, and uh, they innovated, you know, they, they invented and innovated a lot of different designs and uh, technologies and stuff like that when it comes to making guitar picks. Now, before we go any further, this video is sponsored here by my friends at Pickers Grip. Pickers Grip have a new updated formula uh, that uh, goes on a that goes on smoother and uh, again helps that beginning or experienced guitar player to grip on to their guitar pick, particularly when you're really digging it and it really gets really easy for a pick to fly out of your hands, which always seems to happen at really 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 inopportune times at gigs. So before we go any further, let's give them about 15 seconds and pay the bills. Today's video is sponsored by Pickers Grip. Stop dropped picks and pick rotation while playing with Pickers Grip. Made with all natural ingredients in Virginia. Check out their website to order. When you support my sponsor, this also supports my channel and it's very much appreciated. Now I'm going to divide this video up into five different sections uh, because there are, there are five different characteristics that I think people will need to pay attention to when it comes to choosing a guitar pick. Those five different categories being material, shape and size, thickness, grip, and tip. And I'll explain each one of these here in more detail. Let's start with materials. There's a few different basic materials that you're gonna find most, uh, most commonly used to make guitar picks. You have your nylon, which is really, really common, basically basic plastic. You have uh, a Dunlop patented material called Tortex. Uh, which again is is uh, you know it's it's a, it's a type of plastic, but it does have a little bit a much, little bit different feel than your standard nylon. They also have another proprietary material called Ultex that they make. This one you know comes in a few different variations. You get the Ultex, you get the I think it's called the Dunlop Primes, uh, which is a little bit more expensive version of this. Ultex is a lot more rigid and uh, you know doesn't have nearly as much flexibility as nylon. You know, and Tortex of course is going to be somewhere in the middle. You know, we can debate all day long about the tonal differences of all of these picks. However, I think realistically, the biggest tonal difference is going to come from, you know, is, is going to come in the difference of picking technique rather than the actual material. So again, choose what feels best for you. Okay, now let's talk shape. We're going to use this guy right here as our standard shaped guitar pick. Uh, kind of a, you know, not quite a teardrop, but, uh, you know, it's a rounded triangle shape. You know, when you, when somebody says the term, you know, when somebody mentions the term guitar pick, it's probably this shape that comes to mind. Most of, you know, 90, you know, for 90% of people out there that know what a guitar pick looks this like. This is probably what I recommend for most beginners. Again, just because it's, it's a moderate size, it's easy to fit in your hand, but not too small that, it, you know, that you're not going to have, not going to be able to know how to control it and not too big that it's going to get hung up and fly out of your hand. You know, I really recommend going with the standard size of a guitar pick. This is still pretty close to what I use today. Another pick that a lot of guitar players like, particularly in rock and metal genres, is the Jazz 3. Ironically, uh, <laughs> ignore the name, you know, because like I said, a lot of metal players like this pick because it's small and fast. It is much smaller in stature to the standard uh, triangle size guitar pick. No question about that. 
uh, but they're also typically, in most cases anyway, going to be a lot thicker. We'll talk more about that here in a second. This particular example isn't quite so, isn't quite as thick as some of the other Jazz 3s, Jazz 3 models that are out there, but, you know, it is definitely more thicker than this one, which is a basic, what is, it, what is this, one mil? Nope, that's a point, that's a 0.73, which is basically a medium right in the middle. Now, what I am using is, uh, you know, something that, that has come out here in more recent years, and by recent, I mean, I don't you know, probably within the last 10 years. Uh, the Dunlop has come out with something called the Flow guitar picks. And there's a lot of different flavors of the Flow picks. And these are what I use today. Size-wise, I still like the standard size. So they're very, very close in, in uh, stature. Very, very close in stature to the standard size guitar pick, but you know, just a you know, maybe slightly smaller. You know, to me, using it's not enough to, uh, you know, it's not enough to tell any any significant difference. You know, but still not quite as small as a Dunlop as a Jazz Three. Uh, this one also is uh, you know the the uh, the flow picks that I use. You know, the what the flow standards is what they're known what they're called. Uh, this is also a version of the. Altex material that I mentioned earlier. So now there's also you can get you can buy picks a lot bigger than this. You know the great big triangle picks, and you know then they got some you know those real crazy shark fin tick you know looking things that are also really really great big picks. I recommend you stay away from those as a beginner. I mean unless you're really getting into you know heavy digging and strumming acoustic, which is really what those are designed for. Uh, you know if if you're if you're learning to be a shredder on an electric guitar that's probably not going to be the one that you're after it's a very very cumbersome pick to try to use for that particular application okay now let's talk about thickness with most of these particular guitar picks uh, all these different shapes and sizes most of them you can get as I think the thinnest guitar pick that I'm aware of on the market is a Dunlop nylon pick at 0.38 millimeters that's not much thicker than a business card. I don't recommend it. The thinnest that I have personally ever used is a 0.5 millimeter, uh, which is considered a thin in most manufacturers, be it Dunlop or Fender or whoever. That's a really, really thin pick and honestly a, prob a, a really good thickness for beginning guitar players to use. And the reason why is because, you know, because they're so thin, they're very forgiving. And by forgiving, I mean, you know, particularly nylon picks. You know, they they offer a lot of flexibility. Obviously, when you're learning to play guitar, your technique needs to be refined. And part of that technique is knowing where your hand is and what string you're 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 plucking, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you know, until you've got that down to the point where it's muscle memory, you need to rely on a little bit thinner, a little bit thinner pick because it's possible you're gonna you're gonna land in the wrong spot, and a thinner pick is going to allow you to realign yourself, so to speak. Now, the Dunlop Tordex stuff these are you know rigidity of these is probably a little bit more similar to nylon picks than it would be the Altec stuff which i'll get to here in a second the tordex picks by the way come in two a couple different varieties uh most notably the ones just called the tordex standard and uh this is a version called the gator uh, called the gator grip and that's good we're going to talk more about that here in the grip section but the tordex material itself is pre is is about as pliable as uh, as nylon maybe just a little bit more rigid in my opinion you can buy these anywhere from about point you know about 0.5 millimeters all the way up to i think they i think they sell a two millimeter thickness uh and a gator grip i think is what they make so i mean you can buy these pretty thick most people that i know will use somewhere in the 0.73 to one millimeter 1.14 somewhere in there now the Ultex and uh, you know again and the flow picks that I use, you know these are a little bit more rigid, so you can get away with using a little bit thinner pick uh, if you need something with a little bit more rigidity to it. What I'm holding my hand here, this is, this Ultex is a 0.9 uh, millimeter, and this flow is a one, you know the flow pick here is a one millimeter. Most most of the picks that I use, I generally go back and forth somewhere between a 0.88 and a one millimeter, so I generally don't go any higher or lower than that these days. You know, as you become more experienced, you're probably going to want something that offers you a little bit more rigidity, which, you know, you're going to find yourself constantly experimenting with different picks over the course of your guitar playing career, as most guitar players do. And again, there is no wrong answer here. Use what feels best to you. Okay, next, let's talk about grip, because grip is very important, particularly to beginning guitar players. Why is that? Because when you're playing guitar, it is really, really easy for a guitar without any kind of grip on it whatsoever. What will happen is, you know, the pick will tend to spin around in your hand. 
And you know, if you're in the middle of a song at a gig, you don't necessarily always have the opportunity to stop, you know, and you know, and straighten your pick back out in the middle of the song. So choosing a pick with the right grip on it will allow that pick to stay in the exact position that you need it to in your hand while you're playing. And there's a couple of different varieties versions to choose from. Now the Ultex one, Ultex pick that I'm holding right now doesn't have any kind of grip built into it. Uh, the material itself tends to, uh, again, as a proprietary material, the material itself has a, uh, I don't know, you know, it's you know, it, it's kind of hard to just hard to describe, but uh, it's the material itself kind of just seems to bond to human fingers really really well, you know. Uh, so I, mean, I but it, again, no grip, it does tend to spin on you. It can anyway. And if you are playing with a pick like that, then I, obviously I also recommend picking up a container of Picker's Grip because that will help with that problem quite a bit. That's the reason why Picker's Grip came out. Now again, I'm going to go back to the Tordex picks. The way Dunlop does it with the Tordex picks is, is kind of interesting because they use a, they, they coat their picks in a powder material and the, and the powder material itself tends to act as a grip. Uh, which is why a lot of players like them because they get the feel of a you know of a standard smooth guitar pick, but you know the powder again helps it to stay in position. You can again, there's a couple different versions of Tordex picks. You have the you know the Tordex standard, and then they actually make the Gator grips, which is what I'm holding. I used these for a long time actually, many years ago, because the the Gator grips are basically Tordex picks with a heavier coating of powder on them. So the heavier powder Tordex coating, whatever you want to call it, uh, in my opinion helped to stabilize the pick in my hand. I was never real big on nylon picks, but once upon a time I ran into this company here called Snarling Dogs. Uh, Snarling Dogs make ver you know, a variety, different kind of, uh, you know, diff different kind of guitar uh, accessories. Uh, primarily they're known for guitar picks and you know, a few pedals here and there. Uh, but this particular guitar pick, when it came out, this is a one millimeter variety. You know, they came out, they put it, and they built in a grip on their nylon pick uh, it kind of feels like a lot. I've heard people, a lot of people describe it as a cat's tongue. And when they, when I first tried these, I was in love, and I used these picks for years, uh, up until a few years later. In response, when Dunlop came out with the Max grips, and uh, the Max grips were a similar design, but the grip actually on it was better, a lot better than the Snarling Dogs. Uh, still a nylon pick, you know, still sold in basically pretty much all the same thicknesses, you know, but the grip was a lot better. And this was pro this was my guitar pick for probably the next 10 years. Excellent, excellent grip on these picks. I think this is probably the best grip still to this day that Dunlop makes on any of their picks. You know, if, you, if, you, if grip is the most important factor to you, Dunlop Max grips are the way to go. You know, and I'll tell you why I switched to something else here in a minute, but there's a few other things to take note of. Uh, and the, you can't really see it in this photo. You know, I'll post another close-up picture here on the screen. But you know, in the instance of the Jazz Threes, uh, you know they they raise the uh, the lettering, the labels, you know the dump, the logos and the lettering and stuff like that uh, that is all printed on the pick. They raise those, so you know it, that stuff also kind of doubles as a grip as well. I don't think it's quite as effective as the Max grips, but you know it is still effective a lot of you know enough for a lot of people. And most of the double nylon picks will have that in some form or fashion or another. So grip, you know, grip is very, very important. Uh, and to some people, though, it's, it's more important than others. To me, it's a pretty significant factor. And, and the primary reason why I switched leads me to my uh, to the final characteristic of guitar picks, which is the tip. Now, I mentioned here I switched to the Dunlop Flows about three, two, three, four years ago. Two or three years ago, I think it was now. Maybe a little more than that, something like that. Uh, you know, so the Dunlop flows, uh, you know, again, the shape is, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it's really, it's pretty similar to the standard guitar shape, guitar pick shape that I like, uh, maybe slightly smaller, not again, not enough for me to notice, but you know, to me, this pick has the best of all worlds. The thing that drew me to it and maybe stick with it was the tip it's because these have a really, really sharp tip on them. Your standard guitar pick is going to have a, have something a little bit rounder on it. Dunlop make a lot of their picks in, in what they call a sharp variety, which would be something like this. Just so you can see, you know, see the difference uh, up close. And up close, it does make a difference. Now you'll notice that the tip on my trusty Dunlop Flow is also 
pretty sharp in comparison to the Eltec Sharp that I'm holding here in my hand. Albeit this one probably a little bit dull because I've used it a lot now. But, but what I found with a sharp tip is it allowed me to play a lot faster and a lot more accurately. Now that I'm, in, you know, as an experienced player, uh, it's a lot, a lot faster, a lot more accurately, and really helped improve uh, my sol my guitar solos. You know, particularly the you know the faster runs. Uh, you know, I'm I'm never gonna be a you know the world's greatest shredder anyway. I'm not gonna be a shredder at all. But uh, you know, some of the faster riffs and stuff that I play with guitar solos, uh, I'm able to play them a lot more accurately with a lot less noise with a sharper tip. So. That's why this is this is important to me. That was the primary reason why I switched to the uh, to the flow standards. But a couple of other reasons. Again, as I mentioned, the sizes, uh, you know, the size is real similar to what I'm used to using. The shape is again similar to what I'm used to using. This particular one also has you know a similar grip. It's not quite as uh, you know it's not quite as good of a grip as the, the Max grips, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's pretty close, certainly close enough, good enough for me to do what I need to do with it. Uh, you know, and the and it's uh, the Ultex material is what it's made of, so it's it's a pretty rigid guitar pick. Again, I go back and forth between a one millimeter and a .88 millimeter. You know, just my personal preference. You know, they make these all the way up. To, I think like three millimeters or something. They make these pretty fat if you want them. <laughs> You know, again, all personal preference, and if you really want to try out some different stuff, I recommend checking out one of these, uh, you know, one of these dumb up variety packs. I'll link all of those up down in the description below, you know, and just seeing what feels best. Because again, at the end of the day, the right guitar pick for you is the one that feels best for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. Adios.